How's it going everybody? It is your old pal Baba Ganoush here again. Welcome back. I hope you're all having a good one here today. So we got a rainy, dreary day out here, so I decided to pull the truck into the garage. It's time to do some projects, time to get some work done. I got a really great, exciting mod here for you here today. What I've been looking out for after a while is ways to mount my radio and my GPS around my dashboard. Um, certainly I'm not worried about my phone as I do have one of those really nice kind of cup holder uh, phone mounts. Uh, but always, you know, a concern to me is bringing my Garmin inReach to be able to map out some of the routes that I take, save certain areas that maybe I want to camp at, um, and certainly carrying my radio with me as well to communicate with the team that I'm on my trail rides with. Um, you know, these things have just been kind of sitting in my cup holders. I'm tired of things jostling around, shaking around, getting dinged up and whatnot. So it's finally time to find a good solution to mount all these accessories uh, and something to really, really start working on the interior of the truck. So I've been doing a lot of research and the one company that continues to pop up as just being very, very highly rated, not overly expensive and very easy to install as well is this great company called Proclips USA. So made right here in the United States, they make phone mounts for tons and tons of different vehicles. They're very secure, uh, very versatile with all the different accessories and things that you can actually mount in place. And of course, um, you know, again, just very, very highly rated. And so I'm excited to get this installed here for you today. So I got the truck pulled into the garage, getting out of the rain, settle on in. Let's go ahead and get these things installed. Before we go ahead and jump inside, once again, be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already to keep up to date with all my future videos. At the end of the video, if you did enjoy it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. I always do appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you what we got here today and what we're going to be installing. So again, Pro Clip, Pro Clip USA. This is going to be, uh, first I got the angled mount here. This is actually going to go to the right side of my GPS unit. So it's angled, so it centers itself looking at the driver's seat. And then I do have also the center mount uh, for the dash as well, which goes to the left side of the GPS, uh, basically facing straight out at me. So I got something to be able to mount my radio and my Garmin right there. Certainly if I decide in the future to mount my phone, at least I already have something in place. The radio and GPS do have belt clips on there. Uh, so I reached out to Pro Clip USA to see what they would recommend because like I said, they have lots, of, lots and lots of great, great mounting options. Uh, so uh, the mount that we're gonna be doing here today is called the button, the button and belt clip holder. So button and belt clip holder there for you. Uh, basically, it just there's a gap on the bottom and you can just clip it right on there, clip it right off. It's very, very nice and secure. Can't go wrong with it. And this is exactly what they recommended for the GPSs, for the radios that already have that little clip on there. So enough talking. Let's go ahead. Let's jump in the truck. Let's go ahead and get this installed. I'm so excited. Okay, everybody. So we're in the truck. We're ready to get everything installed. You are going to need a couple items with you, uh, nothing that should be uh, too far out of reach. So first thing you're gonna need is a good Phillips head screwdriver, and of course a little bit of rubbing alcohol as well, just to clean the area off, because you do have some sticky tape uh, on the mount itself. They do give you, uh, they do supply to you what they call their gap opener. It's just a little tool right here, allowing you to get in between and pry the trim off around here, around the dash, and that's basically all you need. They give you everything ready to go they give you your screws all the hardware supplied all you need is a screwdriver a little bit of rubbing alcohol with a paper towel or something you'll be good to go all right so let's go ahead and get started I hope I don't mess this up so first what you're gonna do is they say to basically put this underneath here and get that little space and just kind of gently kind of pry it open you can kind of hear it pop right there now you know how it's starting to get loose and then you'll just kind of go around just very nice and gently and just get uh, the, the trim around here kind of pulled off. Okay, and there we go. As you can see, I got plenty of mud and everything around here. Uh, yeah, I didn't buy this truck just for the looks. Uh, so yeah, there we go, as simple as that. I was trying to be a little bit gentle with it just to make sure I wasn't breaking the tabs. 
Uh, now that I got this here, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is quickly clean some of this dirt up, clean off some of the edging around here just to make sure I have a really good seal. And as well, it gives me the opportunity to actually get this uh, dash area clean from all the mud on all the trails I visited. Okay, now that all the mud is finally cleaned off, let's take some of the rubbing alcohol, clean off the areas surrounding where I do want to mount uh, the actual phone mount and everything, uh, where I want to, ins to install it, and just let's get all the grease, all the fingerprints off of it so we have a nice clean install. So what I'm gonna do is now that I got everything all cleaned off, you know, I got all the fingerprints and everything off of it, all that good stuff, I'm gonna basically very gently just position this back into place so I can find uh, the right areas that I want to mount these in and get them all clipped in. So let's go ahead and start with just the center mount here. That'll be a good way to start. And then I'll go ahead and do the angled mount there for you. So underneath here, you do have little areas of this blue spot here. This is just double-sided tape, just so it adheres really nice and easily. And then of course it has this little lip here that it actually kind of hooks onto the back side. Uh, so really, really nice and secure mount, nice and simple, nice and lightweight. You're going to look for the ProClip USA logo right there. That is going to indicate that is going to be pointed towards the top. Let's go ahead and peel the tape. Uh, find a good spot. I want to make sure that I'm staying clear of the buttons and everything on my GPS. And let's go ahead and get this done. So you're going to hook it over the top first here. You're going to find a really, really nice, good spot. All right, I think that's just on the outside of the GPS. It doesn't interfere with my buttons, but it looks nice and flush. So you're gonna get the top portion hooked in. You're then gonna pull the bottom just a little, little tiny bit, and you're gonna push it down at the same time. And you hear that snap into place? You can see how nice and secure that is. All right, so let me just go ahead and just push this down on the edges. Get that adhesion nice and clean. Would you look at that? Just look at it. So we got the center mount. Let's go ahead and get the angled mount. I'm gonna do the exact same process here. So angled mount, you can kind of see how everything is angled in a way. So this will then pitch forward here for you. So you got the blue adhesive tape on the bottom there. Let me go ahead and peel the little covers off. All right, nice and simple, nice and clean. So let's do the exact same process. Hook it up on top, pull it down and snap it into place. Okay, easy peasy. So now we got it into place, what we're gonna do is we're gonna push the trim back into place. You're gonna be nice and gentle with it. You're gonna hear all the snaps go in. And then once that's nice and secure, we'll go ahead and get the mount screwed on there for you. Okay, easy as that. Nice clean look. You can see how this one's nice and forward facing. This one has that pitch facing right towards me, just nice and a little bit there. So, okay, let's go ahead, let's, uh, let's take the clips out, let's go ahead, get these installed, and then we'll see what it's all about. I'm so excited. Okay, so here's the belt clip mount and everything here. As you can see, it kind of has just a pass-through so the belt clip can slide over and just kind of clip into place nice and simple. They got your supplied screws ready to go. Okay, so because this one, this side in particular is going to be for uh, GPS or radio, I am gonna mount them on the high side of where the pilot holes are, just to make sure I have that clearance and it can pick up a good strong signal. So let me get that one in just nice and light. Let me get the other screws, and then I'll go around and do my final tensioning on everything. That's number one. As, I, as you can see, this thing is solid as a rock. All right, easy install. Let's get the second one done. Now you just want to get these snug enough. You don't want to over tighten it. Again, you are screwing into plastic. If you over tighten it, you do run the risk of stripping out those threads 
Uh, so just make sure you get it nice and snug. This thing is so nice and secure. Do not worry about over tightening it. All right, so there it is. This is how easy this is to install. No joke, this took me less than 10 minutes to do. Um, and that's with even turning around and filming and talking to you guys and going through the whole step process. This took me less than 10 minutes to do. Now the real test comes. Let me go get my GPS, my radio. Let's clip it on in. Let's see how it works. So, okay, I got my Garmin here. This is the Garmin InReach Explorer. It does come with a small little belt clip on the back and I did take the carabiner off the top of it. Uh, so let's go ahead, let's pop it on. Let's see how it fits. I also have my radio here as well. Now this is the Garmin InReach Explorer. I do actually have an independent review on this if you wanna take a look at it uh, right, up in, right up in the corner here. But let's go ahead, let's take a look and see how this works. Easy peasy. You can see me shaking it. It is pretty nice and secure. I might reach out to Garmin and get what's called their button clip. So it has like a little button that'll actually just notch right into the groove here. You know, this is certainly very, very secure for the time being. A much better option than what I currently was going with. Um, I'll have to take it out on trail, really see how it works, really see how nice and stable. Um, otherwise, I'll see if I can reach out to Garmin and maybe get their button clip just to make sure this really snaps into place. Now, the big thing in particular, I'm not always going to take my GPS with me. Um, I sure hope I do, but it might not always be. However, my radio, my bow thing, this is absolutely something that I always bring with me. Uh, even just picking up the weather channel, doing the police and the fire scanner on here as well comes in handy. Um, and really great to be able to have uh, such a powerful, powerful radio in hand. Um, I was using this just in the cup holder, and I have the handheld, which I would clip someplace, but it would always fall out. It would be so frustrating with this. Uh, so, yeah, it has just a little little clip onto the back. This one's probably going to go in easy, even easier. Oh, man. Would you just look at that? So, certainly, it does have a little bit of jostling going on, but I can't, I can't just push this thing up and pop it out. I actually have to clip it and, and remove it from the bottom. Um, so yeah, it works really, really well with the handheld here. I can simply just clip it up on the windshield visor and this stays really nice and clean up out of the way. I can clip it in front of me on the driver visor if I wanted to and still has all this clearance, but this is absolutely beautiful. This is spectacular. I got my radio here nice and secure. This isn't going to go anywhere. I got my Garmin here as well with plenty of clearance through the windshield. Man, Pro Clips USA, you guys definitely do it right. For those of you who are looking for, you know, very secure, inexpensive mounting options that also look very professional, Pro Clips USA, these things are great. I cannot wait to take this out on the trail and really kind of put it through the ringer and really test these things out. So, okay, everybody, that is the, my install video here today. Pro Clips USA car mounts and phone holsters. Uh, they do phone holsters, GPSs, they do radios, they can do tablets and everything as well. Just a really great company, all made for in the USA. And no joke, I ordered it and it took two days to get here. So their shipping turnaround is very, very fast. Um, you can reach out to them and they get back to you very quickly as well. So great customer service. Um, yeah, can't say enough about them. Really, really great stuff. I'll definitely have to uh, do a secondary review on these um, and really kind of put it through the ringer and let you guys know if I make any changes. Uh, and certainly the way it's set up as well, if I decide that I do want to get the actual uh, a phone mount instead, or hey, even if I get a tablet and run you know GPS on there and whatnot as well, it's nice to where it's such a versatile system to where I can just get those mounts in place. And again, they are just really really nice and securely mounted these are not going to go anywhere i'm going to enjoy it all right so okay everybody i hope you found this helpful i'm really excited to bring this video here for you today uh, i'll have to do a really nice walk around of the tacoma eventually however i do have some more things on the way and some more installs on the way as well let me get those out of the way before i do a really nice thorough walk around uh, but otherwise i really hope you guys enjoyed this and you found it helpful so thank you guys so much for following along on another great video here today. I always appreciate your support. Be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up uh, if you did like the video. Certainly if you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below. I'll be happy to get back to you. And otherwise, it's time to take this thing out, get it dirty, get these things tested out, and go have some fun. 
You all have a great one. Stay safe. Pleasure as always. Baba Ganoush out.